So I'm here with Miss Christine McMaster's. Oh wow, PhD. So do you go by doctor? I only to my students. So yes, I, you know, I worked hard and I feel like for my students, doctor is good. But for my friends and family, I'm not going to require a doctor. <laughs> okay, well, um, well, Kristen, uh, tell us about yourself. You, you met me in the green room. Yeah. And I want to kind of do a pan here to kind of show everyone what you have going on here. Thank you. Can you uh, explain the, uh, what you're, uh, why you're here at the Faith and Freedom Conference? Yes. And what you're trying to accomplish and what you're trying, your message yes. you're trying to convey. So what I put on my blog is that basically the Liberty Bell is meant to help arm people with education, right? So the Constitution specifically is what I'm passionate about educating people about. It's our government's job description and we really can't do a good job of holding our government accountable to their job description if we ourselves don't know it. And unfortunately most people don't know it. And not only do they not know it, most people don't really know the core fundamental why behind why the Constitution matters. So that's really what I want to dig into. I want to help people have a firm foundation. And I don't want it to be this constitutional education that goes over their head. I want it to be simple, right? I want them to be bite-sized bits of information that they can take and that actually change them as they go throughout their lives. Awesome, that is incredible. Yeah. So how did you come up with this, it's not more a business model, but how did you come up with this idea to, to do this? To do this? So I knew I wanted to teach. I'm a, I'm a college instructor, so I teach, but I wanted to take that and I wanted to kind of give it to the rest of the world, not just my students. And so I was like, well, I started a blog. That was the first thing I did. So I published three articles a week. Um, and then I decided, why don't I turn some of my articles into a book? So this was my first book, Why Do We Have Government in the First Place? Uh, and then from there, I'm like, well, why don't I speak? Why am I not, you know, I, I don't have to just do uh, books and blogging. I can also speak and I can help people actually learn the Constitution by speaking to them. And I find that that's the most effective way. I also have been offered a radio show. I've got to work on the funding for that. So there's a lot of different ways of trying to kind of disseminate this information, but it really started fundamentally with the fact that I realized people don't know what they, why they believe what they believe, and I wanted to fix that. And so I started with college, and I'm trying to reach more people than just college. That is fantastic. I think we need that, especially with young people, yes. because with the, the polls that came out about 9-11, can you speak to about that, the generation today who looks at 9-11 a lot differently than maybe Generation X may have looked at it. Yeah, it's fascinating because I was 12 at the time, so I'm millennial, so I remember it vividly. But my students, they don't, they weren't either born or if they were, they were one year old, you know? And it's fascinating because they've grown up in a world where government has such an intrusive power, think about the Patriot Act, that it's normal to them to think of government to be so intrusive and so overly involved in our daily lives. They don't even know what it's like to think about going to an airport and them not, you know, patting you down and doing all this, looking in your luggage and all that. It's not even, that's a far concept to them, and that blows my mind. So there's a whole generation out there. They don't know what it's like to actually love and appreciate the nation we have in the way that we did when it was under attack, right? Those of us that remember that time. There's just a lot of spoiled bratness out there. I can't. I don't know the other, like, the way to say that. It's just that we're so spoiled because we're so blessed with so much liberty. And we don't realize how fragile that is, right? And we don't realize that the Constitution is literally the one thing standing between us and a completely arbitrary, unlimited government, right? And so 9-11, I think, kind of, like, brought us all to that realization for a moment. And the younger generation has missed out on that completely. Yeah, fantastic. I think that's very well said. So, I see you have some, some, um, some merchandise here. Yes, can sir. you explain, um, not what it is, but it's obviously a book, but can you tell yes. people how they can get a hold of it? Do yeah. you have online ordering or? Yeah, yeah, so if you go to my website, um, I guess. I'll, we'll, we'll, put we'll put a title on the bottom here. There. Okay. Yeah, we'll put a title on the so, bottom. So, libertybellnc.com, and bell is spelled B-E-L-L-E. Um, and so you can go there, you can buy it from my website, or you can go on Amazon and look up why do we need government in the first place, what every American needs to know. Uh, and you can buy it from Amazon. And I've got an online, what is that called, an ebook, and then I also have a hard copy. So. Well, I would love to talk to you further. We, I, would you come back on my uh, show and do a formal interview? I'd love to We'd do go that. through all your history and your detail. Yes. I'd be curious to know more about you. My audience would love to know more about you. Yes. Um, it, this is uh, very encouraging because I was telling a gentleman earlier that young people is what it's all about. And people here want to see young people yes. because you're hope. Yes. People that, 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 you know what I mean? Yes. So I would love to have you back on. So yeah, I would love to Again, so is there anything else you'd like to tell the audience before we uh, leave here? Or? Uh, no, if they're interested in reading.
reading any of my blog, they can go to my website. I've got three articles that I publish a week. Um, and if they, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of work. Um, but if they are interested or have any groups that they need a speaker to, to speak at for any sort of constitutional workshops, I love to do that for them. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kristen. Yeah, thank you so much. And God bless you. You too.